Hello guys, uh, before starting the video I want to tell you that uh, I got it working in the end and the solution that worked for me is uh, closer to the end of this video but if you don't have uh, time to wait for that go to the description of the video and uh, see the steps that I actually followed and some other uh, useful links. So let's get to the main video. Hello guys. This will be a really quick video about the problem that happens with uh, Windows 10 upgrade. Like you can see here, uh, mine is stuck at 99% for uh, a few hours. Uh, before it was stuck at something like 72% for about half an hour, then somewhere at 80% for about half an hour. And it slowly went to 99% and it's stuck here for, who knows, maybe more than, uh, than an hour. And the whole process is over 7 hours at this point. It's trying to, to dim the display now. So I've searched a lot for uh, solutions. Uh, the idea is that uh, you don't restart your computer because you will lose all the progress. And you will revert back to your uh, window, uh, previous version of Windows. So it is doing its thing. Let me just show you. It is uh, working, but it's using only one core. I'm thinking that uh, Microsoft made it this way. So you have the rest of uh, the CPU to do your uh, normal stuff. But this clearly slows, uh, slows it down a lot on some systems. And uh, people are reporting up to four days for installing uh, Windows 10 upgrade. That kind of sucks, but yeah. If you really don't want to wait, you can try some things. Uh, some have been successful by unplugging everything they, they can from the computer or laptop. Everything non-essential. Non and uh, not using Wi-Fi, using uh, the standard uh, network cable. But nothing is sure with this thing. There is no absolute solution. It's really based a lot on your uh, computer configuration. So, yeah. But I just want to tell you, it is working in the background. And if you restart it at uh, this point, you will lose all the progress. I was thinking of restarting it and I did a bit of research and you should not. So yeah, a bit of a fail from Microsoft. This is the first uh, PC that uh, creates this problem for me and I've upgraded a lot of them that you can see on my channel. But yeah, it is what it is. Okay guys, just a little update. You can maybe see the time. Up until now it was still stuck at 99%. With the uh, SVG uh, host, where is it? This one. Uh, using 25% uh, of the CPU. So I decided uh, to end uh, this process. And now as you can see, trusted installer started uh, using some of the CPU. I have no idea if this is good or if what I did will help, but uh, because this thing uh, stayed like this for more than 12 hours, if uh, it gets installed maybe in the next 10, 20, half an hour, um, uh, it means that uh, killing the SVG host uh, process or whatever it's pronounced in English, uh, did the trick. So the only thing that I can do now is to wait and uh, give you an update after this uh, finishes or maybe not, we will see. Okay, still stuck at uh, 99%. A few other things that I've learned. Uh, make sure you have uh, all your drivers installed none of them missing before you start uh, the upgrade assistant uh, 
make sure you disable Windows updates and restart your computer before starting Windows Upgrade Assistant. But uh, as I already uh, already started it, uh, yeah, it's kind of too late for that. So I tried to disable Windows updates, kill uh, SVG host, uh, as I told you before a few times. Now it uh, doesn't seem to be coming back, but uh, also my system doesn't seem to be doing anything. So yeah, this kind of sucks, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking that uh, at this point uh, I could let it uh, stay another night and probably it will get installed. But uh, with the new information that I have with Windows updates uh, disabled, I think I'm going to to force this thing to <laughs> to restart. So yeah, and of course make sure you have uh, Windows 7. Uh, updated to the maximum. All, all available updates you need to have them all installed. They were not all installed on this computer before starting this. So there are lots of things that could uh, cause this thing. So I'm trying to to tell you all of them. So for me I'm not going to wait anymore. It could end up working but I'm not going to wait. I'm going to restart and uh, start this thing from scratch again. Okay guys, just an update. Lots of time has passed and uh, this thing still hasn't finished. And it seems that if it gets stuck at 99% it will most likely not finish. If it gets uh, stuck at other numbers it will finish by itself in the end, but at 99% nope, it is dead. So uh, just if you didn't uh, start this upgrade assistant yet, make sure you have all your drivers updated, Windows uh, 7 is fully updated and your chances uh, of this completing are way bigger. If you already started it, well uh, and are stuck at 99% try and go by name to service windows update hopefully I can actually find it nope unable to find it so this kind of sucks I uh, I wanted to set that to manual to make sure it's unable to to start by itself but uh, yeah because I'm unable to find it I'm going to try something else I will disable uh, updates you can see it's checking for updates and it's kind of stuck okay Never check for updates. Let us see in processes if someone is a bit stuck here. Trusted installer and process. Yeah, and it's dead. And now you need to close. Let us just see where it is. Setup host. The setup host is a part of uh, Windows 10 Upgrade Assistant. You need to, need to end this process. So this should uh, make this assistant uh, give you an error and uh, yeah, exactly this one. And you simply click on try again. You are uh, right back from where you started, but uh, 
because you did this with try again it's not like you started from zero uh, it will give you at a point uh, another uh, option but uh, yeah I'll be back when that appears while this thing is downloading I actually found Windows update process you need to search by description because it has a weird name and uh, right click stop so it's dead at this point updates are disabled in Windows and uh, hopefully this time it will work but remains to be seen okay guys that fixed the problem last night I didn't want to wait anymore so I uh, let it uh, do its thing and in the morning when I come back this is what uh, I see so for me that fixed uh, the problem uh, I will put a lot of links in the de descriptions, uh, description of the video with steps uh, that will help you do what I did and uh, hopefully it will also work for you but uh, in most cases simply waiting a lot maybe up to a few days will uh, result in windows installing upgrading to 10 but uh, if you don't want to wait you can do and try what i did so yeah thanks for watching uh, like dislike comment check out my other videos and uh, subscribe so bye bye